crime has been committed at Wild Green Primary School. Two school trophies have been stolen. Evidence as to the identity of the thief has been left at the crime scene and a list of likely suspects has been made. The only difference with this crime is that it is very definitely an inside job, having been completely made up by the teachers. <laughs> with help from the local police and advice from Jane Turner from the Science Learning Center, Year 6 have found themselves totally involved as forensic scientists in their very own crime scene investigation. I think uh, someone's broke him. I just see blood on the floor and someone might have broke it. The teachers are hoping they'll make connections between national curriculum knowledge and understanding and what science can look and feel like in the real world. We are very busy at Sutton Police at the moment and maybe sometime during the inquiry you guys might be able to pitch in with some help. So we're looking for different types of evidence. Any ideas? The crowbar's got ham might have handprints on it. Handprints? You could look for like hair. Hairs and fibres? That's a really good idea, that is. Um, pieces of clothing. Yeah, let me just make a note of that. Clothing. OK. We've not only got to look closer and recover our forensic science, we have to preserve it, because forensic science is very, very delicate. Before we pick anything up, what do we do? Take pictures. Take pictures. <laughs> like the crime scene. Carefully lower the... It doesn't matter what forensic evidence that we recover if we're not making proper notes about our findings and our analysis. A ginger beer can. Oh, there's a can. That on the chair. Can you make a note of that for me? Is there a shopping list? Yeah. Don't touch it. What's that? But I won't suspect it's Mr. Evans. He's got loads of cuts on his hands. And a blood on his teeth, so because he's got the cuts, he might have lost blood. There might be evidence in there. He's got two plasters on his hands. Yeah, it might have been two people. Yeah. Here's the last footprint you can see, and then yeah. just a big mess of paint, and then there's no more footprints. It's, it's like they stop very abruptly, don't yeah. they? So what do you think they did there, then? Um, they take their shoes off and then throw them in the skip for one of the bins. Hypothesis is already playing a healthy part in the investigation, along with acquisition of evidence. Yeah. A bit of fibre on the nail here. Oh, yeah. well, make sure that's photograph on you. This, this. He would have had um, a piece of clothing on his thing, a hole in his back. OK, it's, it's left and right, so it can't be Mr Barnett. Eliminate Mr Barnett. We know that he can't be him, yeah. because he's got his plaster cast on. The five suspects all come from school staff. Dinner supervisor, Mrs Coton. Year 4 teacher, Mr Evans. Teaching assistant, Mrs Murphy. School caretaker, Mr Bob. And head teacher, Mr Barnett. Ask him, where were you after school? Yeah, what, yeah. Clothing, what, what yeah. clothing did you wear? Um, do you know anything about um, rounders trophies? Do you have any trophies at home? Did you lock the shed properly? What time did you get home last night? Mrs. Colton, we are here to ask you a few questions about the incident. Can you remember what colour top he was wearing last night? This one. Can I have a look at that on your finger, please? How did it happen? Um, I did it in um, the cupboard, the stock room yesterday, and I put my hand in the box, and there were some knives in there, one of the blades was out, and I put my finger on it. Can you write your name on this piece of paper, please? I think you can do that. Do you like ginger beer? Love ginger beer. Can I see the bottom of your feet? <laughs> yes. Not all that easy. She's got like a weapon or t-shirt. Yeah. 
Um, because she's um, got the rip and it's um, material. I think he might be lying. I still think but, it's Mr. Barnard. Yeah. There's a lot of excitement about who the culprit might be. To harness this enthusiasm, the staff have organised a day of activities to enable Year 6 to test scientifically the evidence they've found so far. One piece of evidence planted at the crime scene was a shopping list. Some of the children are going to use chromatography to determine the sort of pen that was used to write the list in the hope that they can link it to a suspect. Before they're let loose on the evidence, they practice their science skills on sweets. Water dissolves the different colour coatings. A drop from each sweet is placed onto chromatography paper and separates into its constituent pigments. So we're going to do some actually using the pens that we've collected from our suspects. So what you need to do is just do a little spot with his pen. Put Mr Bob's pen back in Mr Bob's bag and pass it on to the next person. We must keep the right pens in the right evidence bags. So that's Mr Barnett's. I send Mrs Murphy's to you, Mrs Coatson's and Mr Evans's. We need to roll this very loosely and we put that into the jug. This. The shopping list has also provided a neat way of matching handwriting samples taken from all the suspects. Why? You tell me why you think they go together. Look at the O's, like swirls. This is aluminium powder and it's very, very sensitive and it sticks to the moisture. So just very gently cross the can. Yeah. You see them? Yeah. You see that one there? Yeah. You see them? All the way across there? Yeah. What I'm going to do now, give that a bit of a huff to make it all nice and moist, and then we we'll stick that over that area. Just make sure that it's all nicely stuck over. You peel that back. Fingerprints have gone. Can we see those now? Yeah. 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 And then we just stick that on there. Like that. And there they are. There they are. So shall we get the ones that we've done with the samples of pens out of the water very carefully? Slip the paper clip off them and lay them out flat on your desks. So can you see how each pen has made a different pattern of colours? Oh yeah. Mrs Murphy's has given us a right a rainbow. They're about to compare the patterns made by the suspect's pens with the crime scene evidence. So if we just use part of this, then the rest we're preserving for identifying the handwriting or doing a repeat measure. Really the children are keen to collect data about footprints left at the scene. They've got really like long strides. Oh, so they're trying to strike. And use the results to hypothesise about whose they might be. They must have been hurrying out yeah. together. They might have been running. It looked like a size five feet. It can't be Mr. Evans because he's got a size nine yeah. feet. Yeah. Analysing this evidence means comparing the fine detail of materials and reasoning just which suspect the fibres may have come from. Ask them to bring in which clothes they've been wearing throughout the week to check if any of these clothes have rips in it. Mrs Coton yes, shed a hole in her stomach. Evidence planted by the teachers has provided a good opportunity to use the school's electronic microscopes it's time to compare the results of the chromatography tests. So has anything particular yeah. happened? It's yeah. purpley, isn't it? It's a bit purpley. If it's anyone, it's probably Miss Marvel. It looks a bit. Yeah, it's got a bit of purpley in it and a bit of like a bit of yellow. It's probably yeah, Miss Marvel, isn't it? So the chromatography has taught us 
uh, that we can identify the different pens. So you would agree that it's probably come from Mrs Murphy's? The children have decided to use some of the key practical skills of forensic science. The suspects have been brought in for fingerprinting. They will be able to practice some real forensic science, comparing the suspect's fingerprints to those lifted from the drinks can at the crime scene. Well, that looks really similar to the one on here, and so is this one. Close observation and recording is also being used in this activity, matching up shoe treads. Describe that. Who can describe that one? Wavy. Real wavy pattern. And how would you describe that, Joe? Long blocks, really. Yeah, long blocks, that's fine. The crime scene investigation also provides a chance for some creative cross-curricular activities. Last night, the school shed at Wild Green Primary School was broken into. The robbers left some footprints and some blood, so we may be able to trace who it is. The Year 6 children of Wildgrim Primary School have been working hard with the SOS to find the person responsible. Of course, the people really responsible for this crime are the teachers. So, how do they feel? Exhausted. How do we feel? <laughs> yes. It's been a long day. This morning yeah. seems like three days ago, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. I think one of the high points was probably having the police involvement. Uh, the support from them has, has been absolutely fantastic and it has made it much more believable for the children. Certainly when we arrived first thing this morning to see a police car and it all taped off, that was really good. Mm. And the children will remember that. Yeah. And that was very exciting, I think. And it was beginning. great out to the, the crime scene because they, they all took it totally seriously. Yes. There was no question out there whether it was true or false. <laughs> And because they had the suits on, because the sucker vote was there, it was all, it was serious, it was a crime scene. What can we get from blood? Um, DNA. DNA? Yeah. They adopted a very scientific approach. They'd got ideas and they came out and they tested theories out and uh, they took measurements and they were photographing their findings and recording their findings, which is just about everything we do at real crime scenes uh, as real crime scene investigators. So I'm hoping that they've got as much out of it as I have today. I found the whole day to be absolutely fabulous. A crime scene has been photographed and documented. Evidence has been gathered and examined. Fingerprints have been lifted and analysed. Fibres linked to a suspect's clothing. Footprints have been evaluated and recorded. So, with every suspect seemingly linked to the crime by a piece of evidence, only analysis of the bloodstain will verify who done it. I think Mr Barnett did it. I think Mr Evans and Miss Murphy did it. I think Miss Murphy and Miss Coton did it. I think all of them did it. Tomorrow, Year 6 will be introduced to the science of DNA fingerprinting and perform their very own DNA test to find the culprit. Yeah.